Here is a question for you. What determines VT recurrence in patients who undergo ventricular tachycardia ablation for post-infarction VT? Now in Jack, researchers try to answer that question. They performed catheter ablation in 98 consecutive patients with post-infarct VT. Electrograms from the implantable cardioverter defibrillator were then analyzed, and VTs were classified as being clinical, non-clinical, or new clinical. So who has recurrent VT, and where does the VT come from? Patients with recurrent VT had a larger scar area as assessed by electroanatomic mapping compared with patients without recurrent VT. In patients with repeat procedures, the majority of inducible VTs for which a crucial area could be identified were at a distance of about six millimeters from the prior ablation lesions. What's the answer to the question of what causes recurrence of VT after ablation? Patients with recurrent VTs have a larger scar, most recurrent VTs are new, and the majority of these VTs were mapped to the vicinity of prior ablation lesions in patients with repeated procedures. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CardiSource Heart Minute.